Virginia at Illinois. And that's an interesting ball game. Uh, Brett Bielema, of course, went to Virginia last year and got smoked by Bronco Menden, uh, Mendo, eh, Bronco Mendenhall in that bunch. Uh, Illinois is a four and a half point favorite. Latest line over at BetUS. The total sits at fifty seven and a half. It's a four p.m. Eastern Time ESPNU game. In this spot, UVA eight and three against the spread following a straight up win. They are seven and three against the spread after a spread loss, and that's exactly what happened against Richmond last week. Uh, Illinois 5-0-1 against the spread after a straight-up loss. They are 5-0-1 against the spread in their last six against a winning team, but they are 1-7-1. and No, excuse me, 1-5-1 and against the spread in their last seven non-conference games. Uh, this line, four and a half. Uh, now, I understand Tony Elliott's the new head coach at Virginia. Uh, they are replacing their entire offensive line, et cetera. They did not look good early against Richmond, but they got that thing turned around. Brendan Armstrong looks pretty good. Uh, in this situation, because the Illinois secondary did look questionable to me against Indiana last week. I mean, Indiana, Connor Bazelak was able to throw the ball just all over them. They they had holes in that secondary you could drive a Mack truck through. It was nuts. Um, I don't think that they can get that fixed immediately. So I think that Brennan Armstrong is going to be able to find some guys open. And in doing that, I think they're going to score some points. Illinois, not really cut out to score a ton of points. So with that said, I believe I'm going to take Virginia to cover the four and a half here. I don't know that they win the game outright, but four and a half, I mean, 21 to 17, I still get the cover. So I I will take Virginia because that just feels like too many points. That, That Illinois secondary scares me. Uh, we'll see what Tommy DeVito looks like this week. I, I don't have I, the Virginia defense is, eh. I think Illinois can have success against them, but uh, at the same time, I think Virginia their passing attack can have some success even with the rebuilt offensive line. I think they can have success against Illinois' defense. So, thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.